lot. Woo! Yay! Hello, everybody. Hello. We are back for Cooking with Kai. Cooking with Kai and Bun Undone. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been like trolling Kyra's YouTube and watching how she does all of these things and just admiration for a very long time. So, well, I'm it's very an honored to be here. Stop. I'm very excited to have you here. And gets me to try something new that I don't ever make for myself at home, but it's, I've been wanting to for a very long time. It's one of my like favorite things to make because they literally are very easy, but like I will often make them for lunch for Alex and I and we'll just do like a big salad -y mix and then shove it in a rice wrapper and it makes mm. it feel so much more satisfying because you're eating it and it's like a thing. And then you can dip it in anything you can dip, dip. is elite. The sauce. Yes. The sauce is the most important part. I got you coconut aminos so we can make a bun and done friendly sauce. Oh my god, I love it. Um, so for you guys, so Morgan is gluten free and dairy free. Are those your only two dietary restrictions? Yeah, I have like other weird allergy things that I found out a few years ago, but they're not nearly as prevalent. So okay. Really is peanuts fun. one of them? No. Okay. No. Cool. We're good there. <laughs> so that was like, uh, Alex, I feel like the camera's a little tall for us. You want me to lower it? I think so. There's like a good amount of space above our heads. Rule third. Um, no, I don't it's know. It's at fridge level. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um. Last uh, cooking with Kai, I made dairy-free, gluten-free um, uh, fettuccine Alfredo. I didn't use fettuccine noodles, but yeah. pasta with an Alfredo sauce. And I feel like that's when you were like, "Hey, I want to do this," and I was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" Yes. <laughs> so okay, like, we've got we've got little Miss Kate, forty-two, here sitting in bed doing this while eating ice cream. What type of ice cream are you eating? I feel like that's a very important question here. And then Katrina, we were just talking about you. We're very yeah, excited to have you Katrina, here. Katrina, I'm so happy you're on here. Um, Kissy N says something to watch. Hello. And Miss Infante just poured herself a glass of wine. I am very excited you get to catch one of these too. So cheers to you. Do you want a seltzer or oh, water? I have a spindrift okay. too. I actually just have my emotional support water bottle I know. that was influenced by Kyra. <laughs> Mine's over on my desk. I like can't live without it. Do I've you been, like biting the straw lately and then like my jaw hurts. I'm like, am I okay? <laughs> I know. He's like, like you need <laughs> Botox in your receptors. I saw that on your story today. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> I don't know why I'm stressed to that point. But. Um, grapefruit or I do have pineapple. Ooh, I'll try that. I don't think I've had that. As long as you have more of them, I don't want you're to good. your like, final. No, you are good. I need to stock up anyways. Sure. Katrina said, wish I could be there in person with you both maybe someday. Girl, come yes, through. Come back, come visit your sister, and next time you're back, we'll all do something together. That would be fun. That would be fun. And Jeanette's here, excited for the collab. Oh, Louie wants to get up on the chair. Oh, this is Louie's favorite thing. Louie like genuinely loves to be part of Cooking I'm with Kai. He just likes to be a part of the party. <laughs> also, Alex wore this hat. He actually smiles. <laughs> Alex wore this hat in a, a, was it a Trader Joe's haul recently? And someone said, your, your husband was stolen from a, or what was it? Like, there's a, there's a mountain snowboarding shop that's missing your husband right now. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we can start rocking and rolling through ingredients if you want to swap cameras over. Did you post or I guess, yeah, I did post in my story. Do you want to give a little intro about yourself? Sure. Tell the people who you are, sure. why you're here, what you do. Um, okay, so my name is Morgan. I'm 29. I obviously live in Chicago, but I'm from New Jersey originally. If anyone went to Penn State, I went to Penn State. Um, and my blog is focused around wellness and self-care and all about making it attainable. So the name Bun on Done comes from for when life in your bun gets messy. So all about embracing imperfections embracing your authentic self and the tools to help you do that through all forms of self-care. So I also have my self-care society community and journal. That's how I know Katrina, um, who's on here. Um, and yeah, just kind of really trying to inspire daily through very like accessible forms of self-care and just keep it into my life and what I do. I'm obsessed with you. And then um, Morgan and I became friends because um, it's funny, well, Miss Kate, how you talked about uh, my old studio videos. So I did a video like back in the day where I used to judge other people's apartments and I would just go through and like make my comments on like what I like or what I'd change. And Morgan's was one of them. And um, I like, you lived in a studio and you like, as people do with studios, like hid stuff like under yeah, your bed yeah. or under your dresser. And I was just like, oh, her apartment's perfect. Like I love it so much. But I would move the stuff that's on her bed and dresser. <laughs> and she DM'd me later and was like, I know. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, wasn't, I was, I forget. Maybe you tagged or someone tagged. It, like, I think somehow I, I saw your Instagram post and then I watched the video and I was like, you know what? She's not wrong. <laughs> and I really did. Like, I, so I'm in the same building now that I was in, in the studio. So a lot of the same furniture came and then I just had to add a lot more for a bigger space. But 
it was laid out really well in the smaller space because I had like Havenly help me do it. Oh. But come the like, I was there for a year and a half, I think, and come and like, during the pandemic, so things just started to like. <laughs> this can go there. Yeah, I had like I had a box that was sent to me from a brand that I just it became a catch all box and that was under the dresser. But that's bad feng shui because you're supposed to have energy flow underneath things. Oh well, so I have you things... called me out for that. But no, my my bed now is there is no room for yeah. any energy to get. <laughs> I was gonna say I have things underneath all of the things. Pets are good for feng shui too because they spread the energy. Well, he's just the best for everything. Um, okay. Uh, oh my gosh, you're eating a Jer- uh, Ben and Jerry's. Wait, po- no, fish, fish food. food. Fish food. I was like, that it's was not- always my favorite. I was like, it's not called posh fish. I know, I loved it too. All right, let's cook some things. Um, so to make fresh spring rolls, I guess, sorry, you want to bring it back? Love that you're wearing your braided apron. Thank you. My mom got me this. What do you want? I have nothing for you. Oh, he probably wants you to take him outside and feed him dinner. Oh, yeah. but you can do it later. No, I can do it um, but uh, my mom got me this apron for my birthday. My mom and stuff did it. And my mom's normally watching. But she's in Ireland right now hiking 70 miles in five days. So Rose is too busy for me. That's unbelievable. I know. Goal. She's unreal. My stepdad's 70. Yeah, my stepdad's 70 and doing it with her. These people, they're crazy. They're genes. All right. Can I have another camera? Yeah, where do you want it? Um, probably this one. Yeah, that looks great. Do you get those from Trader Joe's? No, that'd be great. Oh. Um, I think this. I think I got these from H Mart. I go to the Asian grocery store a lot. I love it. Oh I'm obsessed. God. Yeah. If you like sushi or pokey, they have great raw fish and just I've heard it's all. That. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to go. It's because really I've like good. wanted to make my own poke bowls and just have not. But they did have those at the Mohai Food Show, as you saw. Yeah. Time. Okay. So we have the rice paper wrappers. Um, that's what we'll be using to do the actual wrapping. It's going to be fun watching you like actually wrap them because it's hard. You know how they always say like the first pancakes was the ugly pancake? Yeah. We will have some ugly spring yeah, rolls. I'm not the best at wrapping presents. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're already <laughs> off to a great start. Um, then I just grabbed some different random veggies. Oh, I need my onion as well and my bell pepper. So bell pepper, cucumber, carrots, um, romaine lettuce, an avocado if we deem it ripe enough, and red onion. And green onions. I think that's everything. Um, and then I have, uh, we needed like vermicelli noodles and this was a little harder and I didn't have them so I sent Morgan to Whole Foods. So we have these like pho noodles that we're gonna try and see if they work the same. And then um, a large shrimp, which I have defrosted already to put inside. That's productive. I, I think like I'm always like, oh, it's dinner time and everything's frozen. <laughs> I know. And then I like try to speed things up and it's just not good. I am very bad about that as well. Um, okay, I just need a small pot, and my small pot's dirty, and because I have caraway pans, I only have one small pot. We are gonna do it in this pot, and it's fine. Wow, I feel like we're not getting as many people on, and I don't know why. You did a bubble test. I did! I didn't even know you were doing it today. <laughs> you did, I posted it. Anywho, all right, we're gonna stop with some water. It's all good. Um, okay, so for any of you who, any of you who are new here with Cooking with Kai, I usually like to do this at some point during the show, but I want to hear everyone's good news. Like, what's something that's happened in your life recently that you're really happy about? It could be big, it could be small, it doesn't matter. But I love to hear some good news. So, Morgan, do you want to start? Do you have anything that was some good news in your life recently? Um, I mean, I'm launching like this freebie week for self-care society that starts next week. So that's something good. And I'm going home. Oh, that's exciting. In a couple weeks for a wedding. So that's fun. I feel like something else will come into my mind. But yeah, it can come. Yes. If you think of if you think of anything else, let's see, what would my good news be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have the modeling stuff. Yeah. Mm, that was so hard. I, uh, <laughs> I, did, I got hired for a modeling shoot last week, which like I've literally never done. Um, but I don't feel like I, yeah, well, I'll have you help Johnny in a second. Um, but I feel like I wasn't great at it, so I'm not like super all amped about it. Okay, I'm going to have you slide over here. This is what I need, Alex, because I don't know what's on camera. And I'm going to have you start chopping veggies. And I'll grab you a plate to put them on. Hey, what are your nails? 
Uh, like an orange oh, geometric. Oh, yeah, it's even perfect. We both have nails done at the same place. Yours are really cool, too. They're really... They, my nails are growing rapidly fast. I know. Mine are as um, well. Oh, but they're but like, you can't oil. see anything. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Some, you can see them all over both of ours. I know. They're on there. They're fuzzy on here. But yeah, chime in. Let me know what some of your good news is. No one's saying anything. I'm like, are we on the wrong channel? We're not. I don't know why. What are you looking for? The trash so I can get the seeds. Um, over here. It's normally over there, but we have all of these things moved all over right now. This can just live I here. Love the golf balls he well, if we don't put golf balls in Louis's food bowl, he eats so quickly he pukes. So. Oh, like you made like a makeshift slope mm -hmm. situation. Yep, oh. that little crazy guy. My mom had to do that with her. He like he just gets so excited. Um. All right, well, what else can we chat about? <laughs> no one is responding. I feel like I, I think I'm getting self-conscious because I have a friend on here too, and I'm just like, what's happening? This isn't normal for cooking with Kai. It's okay, we're gonna carry on. Hey, have you seen that TikTok trick where you freeze a cucumber and then rub it on your face? Yes, I really wanna try that. Also with aloe, that's a big one too. I know a girl who uh, did it and she had an allergic reaction. It's not for everyone's <laughs> skin type, I feel like. Okay. Um, dog walkers here and Jen says moved out of Florida into your Lakeshore East apartment. That's so exciting. Are you so happy? Is Wait, it what beautiful? Size should I be cutting these? Like, um, strips? Like yeah, do them into strip. skinny strips. Um, is it beautiful? Do you love it? Move the cutting board in front of the camera. Thank you, Alex. He is watching from taking Louie out. You can <laughs> here, I'm going to actually, I'm going to move the camera. Um, that should be good. I can't. The chat's kind of blocking what's going on over there, so I can't really tell, but that should be fine. Where in Florida did you move from? Uh, I don't think I do know. Yeah, Jen, where in Florida were you? I feel like there's a lot of people who go Florida, Chicago. Love More it. than you would think, because it is typically, I feel like, an East Coast thing. Like, where I'm from, so many people have, like, like parents or families a lot of the time have, like, snowbird homes there. Mm -hmm. Where Arizona is a bigger snowbird place here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we were in school in Arizona, there were so many people who moved from Chicago to go to um, ASU. Speaking and like of Arizona, have you seen Devin Booker's home on no. Archdiocese? Digest? Uh-uh. You should watch it. Mm -hmm. I do love... Uh, he's Kendall Jenner's artist. boyfriend, and he's a basketball player. Oh, yes, I know who you're talking about now. I still have not seen it. Um, Fort Myers, south of Tampa. Um, being invited to a garden party for Queen's Jubilee. I want to go to a garden party. Oops, I need to move the chat box. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I see. Yeah, we can't see the chopping at all. It's okay. Alex, you'll be back soon. <laughs> we have 15 people watching. It's fine. Um, but you're all important, all 15 of you. Someone else give me good news. What's something else exciting that's happened? Let's see. What's good news that I can think of while I'm having you slave there and chop? Um, Alex, when you get back, we need like, I need more we need a better space for us to both be able to chop and do things. I wonder. I'm really no. relaxed right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm cooking. Like cooking just. Cooking is a mindfulness practice because if you're, especially if you're following a recipe, you're not like thinking about all the other like stressing things. I feel like it's more mindful me if I'm not following a recipe because then I'm just like going with the flow. I don't have to check on See, but when I don't follow skills. a recipe because it's just me, it's just like I throw rotisserie chicken in a bowl, microwave rice, and like call it a salad. <laughs> Okay, no, no. So that doesn't really help my mind oh, no. as much as like this. I am, I love food far too much for that nonsense. Literally cooking dinner every day is like my happy place. Um, uh, Jeanette says, good news is the weather has finally got warm and sunny. It's raining here right now, but it was a really beautiful day, but now it's raining. But I'm hoping that the rain helps with my allergies because I'm dying. Yeah, we both today were like, I, I woke my up. ice roller can only do so. I ordered an ice roller off Amazon this morning because I had to give mine back to my mom. Oh. I have, like, a really good idea for an ice roller that I really hope to make someday. Oh, I want to know. Tell me your secrets. What? I'll tell you after. <laughs> um, I have no connection to making it happen yet. <laughs> this is a down also, the line I'll repost um, what you just shared. Okay. Here. Here. I can chop the... Isn't I can keep chopping. that satisfying, though? Yeah, that's really beautiful. You've done a great job. Um, but 15 people and one husky. Um... Jeanette, any thoughts on moving back to Chicago? Is that in your cards for you at all? I helped Jeanette find an apartment. Gabrielar, hey, hey, what's up? Uh, Gabrielar is in Chicago, and she used to not be. Gabby, what part of Florida were you from? Everyone's from Florida. Um, and she moved up here, and 
we hung out and now we're friends. And I went to her boyfriend's karaoke party for his birthday and it was so much fun. Is there a link to this or should I just use the, your channel? Uh, if you go to my channel, it pops up right away. So okay. that's the easiest way. Okay, thank you. Um, Gabrielar, tell me, what is good news that has happened in your life recently? Oh, Alex is back and Louis is back and now Louis is going to want dinner. Hello, welcome back, handsome. Hello. Okay. Um, no, we can do Central Florida, like outside of Orlando. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and then Jeanette says she would love to move back, working on some things, but it's in the plan. Let me know, Jeanette. I am here whenever you decide to make the move. Um, da, da, da. Okay. She's cooking. Oh, is it a video? <laughs> There's too many videos going on. Um, I'm All gonna, the inception. I know, right? All right. I'm going to start chopping. There was uh, drama at the dog park. There was drama at the dog park? Yeah. Do you tell. Oh, was there a dog park in the building? Yeah. yeah. I was like, you went all the way to the dog park. There was a, there was a little tiny dog that was yippy yipping yapping, and then there was a big old dog, and he was just chilling, and then for some reason, at some point, he like just kind of went crazy. The big dog? Yeah, and he actually ended up biting the owner of the <gasps> dog that was like trying to fight. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. No. Did you see our beautiful chopping board? It is beautiful. I'm not doing as good on this one. It's okay. It's fine. Um, Gabriela's good news is I've got three clients and a few more in the works and a gym membership yesterday. So I guess that's good news. That's awesome. Uh, Gabriela recently, um, she was working for on the PR team for a fitness studio. I'll tell you after. And um, left her job and is now doing freelancing for like, what is it? Can you explain better than I am? Like social media and content? Would your nifty veggie slicer box make that easier? We can try. Not clean. Uh, I'll clean it. Yeah, I do love the slap chopper. It's very satisfying. I don't know what that is. It's like this, it, I've been making like a ridiculous amount of salad, so this just chops all of the veggies so quick. I like can't tell with an army. He's just like such a joy to like, like he just is infectiously happy. He's ex very excited because he thinks he's getting fed very soon, which he is, but. He's gonna have to wait a minute. Um, we'll try. We'll try the slap chopper real quick. Yeah, I got this thing off Amazon. It's a dream. I don't know how to wash it well though. Honestly, I feel like good news lately is that it's, it's nice out. That's true. It's changed my <laughs> significantly. Honestly though, like spring, I just I can't do it. I hate spring. My allergies are so bad. I hate that it was sunny earlier and now it's raining. It's my least, spring is my least favorite season. Is it really? It was always my favorite growing <gasps> up. No, well. Because I got really excited for summer and like, I like the blooms. I mean, my allergies granted, did not like it, but. I literally had such bad allergies it's that. It's like, no, spring, and, spring is like a big reason why I don't know if I'd want to be in summer all year round. Because I love like this temperature range. I hate it. I don't, it's not the temperature, but I am so allergic to everything. I used to be excused from well, PE. The pollen was high today. If that makes you feel better. I Everything's high. Myself. Every day, I'm like, <laughs> it's like when you're in traffic and you want to know why you're in traffic. It's like, why do my, why are my eyes tearing today? I always Everything. look like I'm crying when I'm going places. If you ever see me out <laughs> and I look really emo, it's you're not just crying and walking down the street. I mean, sometimes maybe, <laughs> but lately, no. Okay, Gabby does social media management, content creation, influencer marketing, etc. And for for F and B, sometimes not F and B businesses. What's F and B? Food and beverage. Oh, good job. I don't think I like these cubes. Hi, sorry, can you hear me now? I'm hoping you can hear me again. Someone tell me. Yeah, we, no, we can hear you now. Well, but you're not saying anything. Well, because there's a 
Did, did, you, did y'all hit me? Yeah, no. Not on purpose. <laughs> you're back. You're back. You got distracted. What happened? Wait, I got distracted by the vajetti. What's a vajetti? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, um, like, you put, like, a, a zucchini, and it's basically just for, like, zoodles, but it would electronically spiral them in different shapes. Like a pencil sharpener? Kind of. <laughs> But, like, you could make, like, a fettuccine, you could make a spaghetti, you wow. like, all these different... Look, you'll have to look it up. Yeah. I wonder if it's still in the market. It was, like, a big, like, Bed Bath & Beyond type uh, spider, yeah. you know? Yep. I can see that. Okay. That are, like, a scene on TV. These are not my ideal shapes. Okay. I'll just just with my hand, or do you have a wash? Or I do a, not. Okay. Just with your hands, it's fine because the spring rolls are gonna be wet too. And then just paper towel and then you can do. Yeah, it. paper towels are. You're not back by that. Oh, okay. Thank you. We're just playing a game. <laughs> we're really good at miming. No, I don't know what's going on. We we're we're at, it. What's wrong? Nothing. Alex is doing the best he can as audio. <laughs> Mercury is in retrograde. That's that what is why. Is, oh. That's what it That's is. That's why. That's what we blame everything on. Um, all right, cool. I'll let you get after those, and I am going to... Do you want me to cut this after a while, Or no? Or just, like, it? in I half, like probably. Because I think one piece of lettuce will go for the entire, like, duration. Maybe a third, because these are kind of small wraps. Um, but, uh... The lettuce will go like up and down. That'll kind of be like one of the forms. This fridge. I know. Alice is a big fan of the fridge. She can actually see I know, everything. I know. I missed this sink. We already. Oh. I, <laughs> before we, I, it's like she it's keeps like, bringing up the fridge. I know. I was like. I really yeah. do like we the fridge, about though. It. It's much better than mine. And I also like. I personally prefer when the freezer is on the bottom. But yeah. you know what you wouldn't. Split. You know what you wouldn't like about this apartment though is you can't hide all of your dishes in here and then go sit. And ignore them. I, do you remember you told me that about your apartment that you love that you're seeing? Oh, well, I don't love that. It's <laughs> what causes it leads me to my bad habit of doing that. Like, I eat and then I just am like, I don't want to be bothered. And then it's like 10 p.m. and I'm like, oh shit, dishes. I have to go to bed, but I have to do that first. Okay. Someone says no sound again. <laughs> that was from before. Okay. I'm monitoring it. Okay. Like a hawk. All right. I feel like we don't need like a ton of noodles. <laughs> If you have juicy questions so that we can answer them when the sound is on, <laughs> we promise we are not missing. We were just talking about the vajetti. <laughs> that sounds like it it's sounds a like that sounds like a good juicy topic. question. Does anybody have any questions? We used to do that. Like I, I can't really hear her, guys. If you're over there, we, oh. let's just set the mic down on the table. Okay, here I'll let you take it. There used to be a time uh, when I do cooking with Kai where I would do like baked things, like lasagnas or whatever before I realized that it's very hard to do. Ow, that was really hot. Um, I don't think I'm cooking these right. I do not think I'm cooking these right. I do not think these right. Place noodles in a bowl and cover them completely with boiling water. Cover the bowl and let them sit for two minutes. Stir noodles, recover, and then serve. Um, okay, well that was wrong, but it's fine. Um, okay, I need a strainer. Da -da -da. I do have a strainer somewhere. Um, but I'm gonna have people do like rapid fire questions. Whenever I'd have like a dull moment. Oh, that's fun. Like, like fun. funny, like. Just ask me anything sort of questions. And <laughs> there were some good ones. Andrew says, Trump's. Why are apartments so expensive right now? It makes me so sad. Yeah, it's not ideal. Um, What did you ask? Do you want me to talk this week? Yeah, just break down, like, I'm thinking. Like, where they would fit in the length of a spring roll. Yeah. Like, okay. what I can envision. Yeah. In my head. Okay. Um, yeah, Sandra, apartments are crazy expensive. I don't really have an explanation as to why. Oh, you got me. Um, but it is, they are, it's bonkers right now. That's basically all I got. High demand. High demand. Everyone's moving back. The offices are open. Um, people are needing place to live and they're still moving. Where is our strainer? How do we miss, like, the most random objects? Okay. Probably in, uh, underneath the cutting board. You guys have a pool here, right? Mm-hmm. When does it open? Memorial Day? I think the end of this month. Is that Memorial Day? 
Yeah. 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 I am very excited. We've never lived in a building with a Memorial pool. Day is the unofficial start of summer. Ah. Uh, isn't it? Kai, is it not in here? Did you already check? Yeah, but it's fine. I didn't read it. It's not like back there to the left? I didn't see it. Okay. We're now ready for the Hades. Just send nudes. Okay, I'm make them all. No one can hear you right now, by the way. Do you want me to put it back on you? Just try to, you just gotta be talking. You can't walk away from her when she's talking. It, I just moved it. Okay. Ready? All right. I can just stand here like this. <laughs> yeah, that can be your, that can be your job. This is a kind of gross... Question, but do you have any deodorant racks? Summer heat is coming, and I want something that isn't full of chemicals but also works. Ooh, you go first. Do you have any? The Necessaire one is really good, actually. It's like a gel. I didn't even know they made nice. one. Would, yeah, it's newer. It's a roll-on. I really like it. They come in all their usual scents, so eucalyptus, sandalwood. What's the one that, like, native? Have you done that? Um, I actually don't know if I fully have. Like, I think I tried it once, but not enough to know if it worked. I do like Kapari, but I don't think it's strong enough for the summer, hmm. personally. Um, but no, I think that that's been my... There's also, there's a couple, I can't think of the names of them right now, but there's a couple that are at Free People, ironically enough, okay. that I've heard really good things about, because I went into Free People a couple months ago, and we were like talking about them. Interesting. Would yeah. not have thought that. Female they have a lot of natural things. Yeah, that would make sense. Hi, female Tweety. Welcome to the party. I'm glad you're here. Um, female Tweety, you missed it. So I want to hear if you have any good news from this week. Crystal makes a roll-on and a spray that I like. I don't have a good – I use Dove because I'm the worst, so I don't have a good recommendation for anyone. And Alex also uses Dove when he runs out of deodorant. Oh, when I run out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you made a face like, no, I do not. Alex steals my deodorant when he runs out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Part. I'm. Not really here. I, I tried to get this fixed at the beginning. That's why I was running around all stressed. But this is just the best we can do for today. No, it's okay. I can scream if I really need well, to say smart. something important. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you will. After you're gonna have to. Okay. I am trying to get these rice noodles. So I, I messed up on the first ones and I boiled them, and you're not supposed to. I'm just supposed to pour boiling water over them. So we're gonna try oh, that. You don't need many of them, anyways, right? No. And so, yeah, I really only need like half a batch. So I'm now kind of doing like a full batch to see what happens. I have, um, you know what I also have is like some straws that my neighbors had. Like, oh, that, that would have been good. Next time. All these things. You can put anything in a rice wrapper and it's delicious. Okay. We're just going to. like the sauce is the fun part too. I know. And I'm. Do you like a peanut buttery? Yeah, I'm going to do like peanut. That's what you asked me. Mm -hmm. ask you. Coconut oil. Um, no, if I could, like, honestly, like I like live on like nut buttery sauce? things. Yeah. I know, you're always eating the, um... The oat house? Mm-hmm. I should have brought that, or, or dough. <laughs> I, have I have a list. I'm going to make a list next time I see Kyra. Of all the things. Like, <laughs> things to try. Whenever I have someone come over to my apartment, I make them try dough. I have seen it at Whole Foods, but I've never tried it's it. so good. I think the girl who made it used to live in an apartment building that I was in, though. Really? In Chicago? I think so. I didn't know that. She was on Shark Tank, though. Like, three years ago, there was a girl who was doing, like, food photography up on our rooftop for Oh, you're thinking of Sid in Grange. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. It wasn't Sid. It was a different she was girl. here. She was in this building in a very similar unit. Yeah, no, not here. This was a different building, like, three years ago. Do you think this is fine? Yes, I think you, once you peel the skin off, you'll be able to. Okay. I'm going to pass this one to you to continue chopping. Um, Should we hear the bottom one? Uh, I think you're good. And then, ow, ow. That is hot. Okay. Similar long strands. Yeah. And then actually, I'm going to have you do the same with red onion. I'm giving you, you all. wear out another time, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Those TikTok videos that are like, how to properly chop an onion, and I literally, like, they go in one ear and out the other. Yeah. Well, that, that's definitely been a conversation. No, but the, the actual, it. no, you know what the trick is apparently is to put, so it, it reaches the, like, like a water, the closest, like, water source. Oh, so okay. if you put a, if you put a damp, paper towel on your cutting board yeah the onion soaks into that instead it and it doesn't go it. to the eye i swear that's but i don't do it ever because i'm because i like don't I feel like having like crumbs of the paper towel like in my like Whenever people in here tell us to put them in like the freezer or something that might then, be hard so hard to yeah. cut though i've heard that one too there's someone said to like light a match i've heard someone say to like put bread in my mouth i don't know i'll just try it's fine. We just cry. It's a release. Yeah, it's fine. These, these are, yeah, these are perfect, honestly. These carrots are, like, kind of frozen, and I have really intention to not be. Are you warming them up? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, I'm going to defrost some carrots. 
Were they in your fridge? It was just cold. The back of my fridge in the produce drawer. I cannot, for the life of me, to get it to just be like a normal constant temperature. Like it's either frozen. Or it's either frozen or not frozen. Hey, you're 22 now. There we go. It's, we're getting there. Jeanette's dairy free as well. It's nice to have some options that anyone can eat. I also think we did an hour earlier than we did last time. I feel like people are still getting home from work at six. No, that's true, especially West Coasters. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I have to do all of my events, like, the earliest. I can really do them at 6.30. And even then, if it's on PST, they're on, it's only 4.30. Seven's just so late. I eat so much earlier than that. Right. Let's see if I did these better. That's why there's a playback, though. Yeah. It's always funny to me, like, there are people who watch it. Like, well, it's very, like, that. comforting. I've gotten that. I've had, like, friends from You're college a comforting be, like, person. I watch your, uh... Be like I watch your videos when I'm studying and stuff for like I had a friend in law school and she was like I just put them on when I'm studying and I feel super weird but then I'm like it's not weird because I know her. There's some little pieces because there was the edges with the pit. Yeah. I should have just taken the pit out but I wasn't thinking. Um, okay. I feel like no, it's like I always get the. Um, I mean, it's like it's not ASMR but it's comforting in like mm -hmm. a similar way, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These ones kind of work. This is hard. Rice noodles are very hard. These might be a flop. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's hard. Aren't they supposed to be? No. Wait, Kyra, this is a perfect avocado, though. Uh, she's a little hard, too. No, it's actually, like, not bad. Like, look how pretty for everyone viewing. Ah. <laughs> I, like, love when people do that. I um, was helping make guac. I actually, I'm a pretty, I'm decent at cutting avocado, I will say. Oh, yeah, I, wouldn't say I wouldn't say I'm professional, but this was, I should have taken the pit out of the other side. I was just being <laughs> lazy and stupid. Um, did I hand you a second plate? No, okay. but I kind of made it work. Okay. Oh, I got it. Um, I was making, helping make guac this weekend for a, um, my friend's graduation party, and all of the avocados were literally like, rock hard, and we looked up different ways to, like, soften avocados. We baked them. We microwaved them. Doesn't work. Nothing works. Interesting. You know you can freeze an avocado though when it's ripe and like it like lasts like forever. I did not know that. I did that recently. That went viral on someone I follow on Instagram. It's like that's interesting. So if you have like an overabundance of really good ripe avocados, good to know. I um I did that recently with uh I make guac and I froze it. I looked it up and I just freeze it and I was like, okay, let's try it. Oh, I gotta cut the onion. I forgot. After all, the, all that talk, I was like, "What's next?" Right. The one thing I always mess up is the side that you're supposed to start on. Depends on the shape you're supposed to make. Is Morgan, that true? What are some suggestions to set a realistic nighttime routine? I have a hard time falling asleep. So what helps me the most is well, one, putting my phone into another room. Like I try not to sleep with it in my room, which you have to put your alarm. Make sure your alarm is like very loud, obviously. <laughs> For that to work or have another alarm clock, I actually really want a hatch, and I don't have one yet. You don't have one? No. I'm I really want one. I'm trying to manifest <laughs> <laughs> working with them. Um, no, I um, – that's probably my number one tip because that way you're, like, not scrolling late at night. But also what I've realized is if you have – depending on, like, where you live and even if you are in a studio, if you move, if make the move from the couch to the bed earlier, your, like, wind down automatically starts earlier. So – that's just like a simple little thing I kind of noticed last them? week. Read. Or I will, like I mean, like I'll book. watch. I don't have a TV in my room, but I will like watch stuff. Um, but truly, I feel the most relaxed when I read versus like scrolling, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, like no one's perfect. Like I grab my phone first thing in the morning and scroll at night more than I should. But those are like my top recommendations. Um, and legs on up a wall helps you sleep too. If you like I are see, anxious. Can, I've yeah. never done that. Yeah. You would get dirty feet marks. Also, I use um, Garden of Life nighttime like sleep CBD gummies. They really help me fall asleep. Highly recommend. Yes. So those would be my tips. That was kind of a clunky answer, but hopefully <laughs> that helped. I, uh, I just go to sleep watching murder TV shows, so. Oh, yeah, no problem falling asleep. Yeah, you were doing that. <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm actually very jealous of people that, like, fall asleep watching TV. Like, that's never been me. Yeah. No. I get a second wind late at night. Like, I am a night owl, honestly. Yeah, and I don't think that people expect that from me. Yeah, I wouldn't. But I'm more creative at night because my brain is, like, the more, like, 
overthinking side is a little bit quieter. So sometimes my best ideas come at night because it's just like more relaxed. <laughs> like more of the like creative side of my brain, yeah. I feel like. First thing in the morning before people are up and bothering me, that is when I, that's what I do my best work. Yeah, isn't that funny how everyone's different in that way? I would have always thought too, like, I feel like in, when I was younger, it was like cool to be up later, and I was like, oh, I'm a late night person. Nope, that was a facade. No, I've always been jealous of not being an early bird because my sister always was. But I'm very, I'm very happy in the morning. I just wouldn't say I'm like, if you, I had to choose between one or the other, I'm more of a night owl. You know, what's very unfortunate though is we'll like go to dinner with someone, and it'll be like literally 9 p.m., and I am falling asleep at the table. My eyes are watering. I'm so tired. And it's so stupid. I just want to be able to have dinner with my friends and not fall asleep. I know. It's rough out there. <laughs> All right. Actually, I don't think we need this on plate. We're just going to pile onions onto here. And then just do them in little half moons, I think. Okay. We are. Do you want me to cut the entire onions? onion? No. Okay. That's. It's a big onion. onion. Wait, that's not what you want. You want longer than that. Mm. Yeah, honestly, just German like half moons. Like, just chop right there. Okay. And then we can just use I all see the what you're saying. pieces. Okay, we're getting ready to party. This is the fun part. Do, you, do you want it on the same plate? Yeah, you can just stack it on there. I like, you know what else is what awesome? Are you, oh, sorry. What? what are you doing? Um, we're about to assemble the spring rolls and put everything together. I think we might both just have to squeeze in this dinner on it. Everyone can make fun of how bad I am at it. <laughs> hey, you never know. I could find a hidden talent tonight. You could. That just makes perfect. My tennis game was weak today, so maybe my spring roll rolling game will be strong. <laughs> it's a balance. It's a balance. Oh, there's a dog outside. Maybe we should just go. It's probably the neighbor. Kyra has a cute neighbor with a dog. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Now I'm gonna be like, hey, for you know anyone what? wondering, <laughs> you know that girl who called you up from the lobby? Are you interested? <laughs> like, no, my wife lives next door as well. And I'll be like, Sorry. Honestly, that's I'd a possibility. <laughs> that's a very strong possibility. Okay. All right. I think that's probably enough, right? Yeah. There Beautiful you plate. And then I'm just gonna do a handful of already carrots on here too. I know. Like, I don't understand. At least I we have each other. Uh, I think it's a combination of doing it early, and, um, and there was no, I, I really, I feel like we could have done a better build-up on that. I had a lot of things I had to post the last couple of days, too, so I didn't well, post usually, as much I mean, as I normally would. We could usually do it even without anybody else posting. Like, we, you could have done a better job of, um, because all you did was one story, uh, like, last week, and it was, like, in the middle of a long talking segment. No, she, I did, posted, she did one I yesterday. yesterday. Oh, did you? And then I posted it again today. Maybe this was just the day before. Do you like, think people really plan ahead for cooking with Kai? No, but if, if they think about it, I think I think you just gotta like if, have it in the back of your head, like, oh yeah, cooking with Kai tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why no one watched today, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, whatever. You're fine. Okay, that's on. Oh, do you need to cut this green onion? Yeah, I'm just gonna. They're getting wiry. Did you grow these yourself? I mean, I just bought them from the store and then put them in water. And then they Can we go to the farmer's market crazy. together sometime? I would love to go to the I farmer's I actually market. really, I haven't been to Green City ever, which is ever? wild to say. Because I think I'm now realizing how actually close it is to me. Where I like, you know, I've gone to Division Street a million times. But that's not nearly as fill, filled up as. Yeah, Green City. I want to go to the West Loop one, too. I haven't been to the West Loop one. I used to go to the one in the Luke a lot. That was a good one. Um, that's fine. We're just going to, I really should have done two veggie plates. Um, what kind of events, activities do you recommend doing around here to meet new people and make friends? You start. Is this Chicago? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I always, I actually made a lot of friends in, like, workout classes. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, I mean, you have to kind of be that person that's, like, spending time afterwards. But I've always befriended the instructors. We thank them after class. And then other people kind of go up to them, too. And then they kind of do the intro. So that's one. It's a lot of friends through friends. But also, I mean, you've had in-person events. Yeah. I host some in-person events. I'm actually planning, like, going to do a picnic this summer. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. It would be a somewhat smaller group just because 
the person preparing has to be able to make it. But when you're in a community, whether it's from someone you follow or even from like a podcast or like a fitness community. So I started my Instagram from a program called Tone It Up. And that was when like accountability on Instagram was huge. So there was a lot of like in-person meetups, like hashtag TIU Chicago. And I went to one completely by myself. I moved here knowing no one besides my ex-boyfriend at the time. And I showed up to this event and was just like, like literally like, you know, that like meme that's like, hey. How you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like that person. Um, but I was so, I mean, I was nervous, but as soon as you rip the bandaid and start having that conversation with people and you're obviously interested in the same things as it is, it immediately is like a very calm, exciting experience. And then you just kind of share context and you realize, I mean, a lot, there's so many more people than you realize that are also looking for friends that like the same things you do. And I will say, like, podcast Facebook groups, I feel like are a really good place, too. Mm -hmm. One Drink In is a really popular one for friends, too. Yeah, like, Morning Toast has one. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just a fun plate. Like, it's like you already like the same pop culture and, like, kind of, like, in that sense would get along automatically. And then you've done Bumble BFF, right? Bumble BFF is how I made a lot of my friends when I first moved here. I feel like if you put yourself out there and you say that you're looking for friends, then, like, people really gravitate towards that. I know Gabriella, who was on here, I don't know if she's still watching, um, she did Hot Girls That Walk recently, that, like, meetup thing. Yes. And then she went to, like, she's hung out with them, like, a couple of times. So, like, there's all these different, like, events and groups that you can join to be able to meet people. But, like, literally, if you just put yourself out there and you, like, I know it seems scary, but, like, say to someone else, like, oh, I'm looking to make friends, people are so much nicer than you'd expect. Totally. Also, if anyone is in Chicago and interested, Wilson on Rush Street is having an event on Thursday. I will be there. And there's a fashion show and a raffle. Are you in the fashion show? I'm not in the fashion show, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> we could have shared the model uh, <laughs> the model role. Um, no, but there's gonna be like music, I think some food. There's raffles for tennis rackets and lessons with the coach that I actually go see. So awesome. little yeah. things like that that are also through brands and businesses and stores are a really good way to just like show and that's like it's a shopping experience at the same time. So like you can kind of warm yourself up by shopping around and looking around and then introducing yourself. It's hard. You have to put yourself out there, um, but everyone's always so nice when you do, so mm-hmm. you just need to trust that. People are very nice in Chicago. Yeah, people in Chicago are very nice in general. All right, let's get this party started. So, you can push the button back. Let's give it one more time. Um, so, I am just very quickly getting the rice papers wet in warm Is it, water. It's warm. Okay, I was going to say, what's the temperature of it? Yeah. It's like warm, borderline hot. It doesn't really need to be hot. Um, that'll get softer as you're putting in your ingredients. Can you see? Alex, can they see? They can see, but you're going to talk louder now. Okay. Do you want me to move? I can move this to the other side. Oh, yeah. We'll just see. Hello from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one, might, mine might be a little bit soft, but we're going to make it work. Um, mm. So my issue is I overstuff these things. Yeah, start small. Okay, because these are smaller than regular wraps as well. That one's quite sticky. Okay, all right, we're just gonna we're gonna make it work. So you can put in whatever you want into yours, but I'm gonna do like I'm gonna start with a base layer of shrimp just because they look pretty. Because I'll be like, what's on the outside? And then I literally just fill mine with veggies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kind of copy you. Oh, look at that. Looks pretty. I usually do these with um, <laughs> canned tuna with uh, spicy mayo and do like a spicy oh. tuna wrap, but you're dairy free, so we just made that one. No, tuna's mayo. That's dairy free. Mayo's dairy free. Mm-hmm. What? It's like it's um like aioli's are dairy free. Well, that's news to me. People that aren't dairy free don't realize that because I've I've tripped a lot of people up on that fact before. Yeah, I mean, it's white and it's creamy. I would have thought it was dairy. It's egg, isn't it? That's what, like... It's not vegan. That's what yeah. you're thinking. It's not vegan, but it is dairy-free, technically. Right. Like, it's not, like, there's no milk cheese mm-hmm. cream. In that sense, it's dairy-free. All right. I'm just That's too many onions. Things. They were, like, skinny yeah, chunks, but I was, that's too many. Because you want to be able to have, like, space to fold it in. And then... I was just enjoying the pattern making. <laughs> I'm going to do some carrots and red onion and cucumber. Do some avocado. 
Wow, you did chop this avocado beautifully. Thank you. I'm finding new talents every day. You're never too late. My brother's here. Jonathan, I tried calling you today. Hi, welcome. Um, Dad's in Europe, and, well, I guess so is Mom, so no one could join. Hi, thanks for joining. How are you? How are you feeling? What's up? My brother works in NFTs and things. You know, I know nothing about him. Yeah. NFTs, and I'm very ashamed to admit that. Okay, we're back. All right. So I'm starting with the far side, and I'm just going to try to, like, do this. Oh, this is wearing long nails. I don't know if they'll help me or hurt me. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's great. Ooh. And then you just kind of roll it. This is very satisfying. <laughs> They're even more satisfying to eat. That you should put that in the subject line. So satisfying. <laughs> oh, I'm getting messy over here. All right. All right. Sometimes they rip. And that's not like super ideal. Oh, this one's so good. Wait, look at me. <gasps> that was good. I'm very proud of myself. Your first one and you killed it. Oh I my feel God. like I need to document this moment. Oh, mine's not good. Okay, it's okay. It's not my best. That's true. Oh no, mine is a hole at the top. It's okay. <laughs> no one can tell. You just put the. There, look, I'll Beautiful. hide it. <laughs> Sorry, I think I got my wrap too wet because it's very sticky. Okay. And then we'll just make a stack. Wow, this is gorge on your granite. Isn't this granite a lot, though? Well, it's just a dark color. It's rare. You don't see this often. <laughs> yeah, it is different. Oh, you have to make a sauce? Yeah, you make a sauce, but we're going to be make, we're gonna make quite a few of these, so we'll just make Okay, let's hope I can keep the streak. One for one. <laughs> no rips yet. All right. Let's not jinx it. Jonathan Button says, Dad calls these salad condoms. Dad would call these salads. Honestly, it's not. It does make sense. <laughs> Adequate. Let's, uh... Okay. Here's one. That'll get softer. I got both of these too soft for both of us, but really one. So we're going to fry them a little bit. Yeah, you, yours was... I think that's probably why yours ripped. And sometimes just using things like a cucumber, like, it just punctures the salad condom. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I don't think I even used a cucumber in mine. It's actually good. Okay. All right. Let's try again. Mm. And then I'm gonna did you just things. defrost these and didn't do anything else to the yeah. shrimp? Brilliant. Oh. No, I, I've never, like, I, like, feel like that's something I've not thought of before. I'll have a sauce. Is that okay? Are we allowed to do that? <laughs> I think so. No, I think so. I'm just, like, I, I feel dumb that I never thought of that because yeah, it's a great way I mean, to just have, like, because I don't love to always, like, cook my shrimp, especially like this kind. Sometimes I feel like it can get chewy easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was it's not thing. a strength of mine is cooking shrimp. Well, especially when they come pre-cooked, then they definitely get chewy very easily. And I figured we're putting a sauce on them, so it didn't really need it. I know, I know so little about food that you could have just told me that like Kyra's been poisoning me with raw shrimp for all these years and I had no idea. <laughs> he seriously knows nothing. Food safety. I was like, what? what I, is will, I will say Kyra doesn't always uh, wash her lettuce. Stop. You put me on blast. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> Make you feel better. Solidarity. Lots of E. coli in this family. I, um, Alex used to be getting crap about it, and I told him, okay, you can wash the lettuce. And no, so but I don't cool. buy I don't buy full things of lettuce often. Mm. I should because it's a lot more efficient and, buy? like, healthy. I mean, and cheap. Um, I get the bagged lettuce a lot at, like, Whole Foods and stuff. Oh, I feel like I don't like the bagged remain. I feel like it's too At Trader Joe's, I do not like it as much. Uh, that would be my problem. Yeah. No, but that's my problem die. because I spend too much money. All right. But I go on a lot of little shopping trips throughout the week. Because I enjoy going to the store, so I don't mind going a couple of times, which is probably weird. But, um. Oh, okay. This one's good. It's even better? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I way over. Oh, she's a good one. 
look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's a yeah. thing of beauty right there. That's perfect. You might want to give yourself a little room on the end so you can fold it in like a burrito so it's closed. Okay. John says, did I miss making the sauce? No, the sauce is coming at the end. That's going to be the it. best part. Yeah, you have the sauce. All right. I'm just going to, we're just going to keep chugging through. John, what do you think? I'm going to do like sriracha, peanut butter, and um, coconut aminos. You can't get it in there. Oh, maybe Shh. like a little bit. <laughs> maybe a little bit. We'll see. You got it. You got it. Try to pull it kind of tight. You want to squish it in there. It's like making a bed. Like like you want to get the sheet the underneath. Corners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it was a little too. No, it's good though. Long. Perfect. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay, I'll get you another another app. Oh, we're we're doing great. We are making great progress. How many did you make? I'm probably gonna always make like. Well, because then you, 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 I feel like we could cut them in halves these too. Oh, they'll probably fall apart pretty That's easily. True. But I think like three of them per person, I think, is like a good amount. Ooh. We're we're already like That's halfway there. Hmm. What have you been putting in yours? Is, like everything. I know. I haven't done any carrots actually, which I should because these just are for everyone. It, just mixing it up tight like a tiger, he says. What's Quinn doing? Quinn's my sister-in-law. They're both very busy people. Sounds like it runs in the fam. You know, we don't rest easily in my family. No, you are really, like at nights, you are very social. And during the day, you have a very social job as it is. On both I think ends. it's just, yeah, like, there's always things that, to be done. But I like it. I don't like resting. It's not my, it's not my jam. I would rather be super busy. I'm more productive. Like I'm more productive when I'm busy, but I definitely rest. <laughs> like I'm not. I like a Saturday. You're bad at sitting still. Yeah. I feel like it's an Aries thing. Maybe like spending a whole Saturday watching TV is not. I'd be sad. When you so if if you were hungover, would you still not enjoy that? I would sleep. I okay, like that makes sleeping. sense. I like sleeping a lot. Sleep is one of my favorite things to do. Oh, you can hear I'm getting congested from my allergies. <laughs> right through my nose. I filmed a video yesterday and I was like, no one can understand anything I'm saying. I can't breathe. Wait, what did I film? What was I doing? I don't remember. All right. What's been your favorite building you've seen recently in Chicago outside of Omelie? Because you know how I feel about that building. <laughs> um, I love all of the Arnie buildings. Um, there's a new one going up in Westlake. Arnie? Like, is it O N N I? Yeah, old town park. My husband. Oh, okay. Um, That's where you are. Yeah, I in, 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 Oh. <laughs> well, I'm saying in one of. <laughs> I won't elaborate. I know. I've <laughs> got cameras. <laughs> I was trying to think like what would be something that'd be so embarrassing that we'd have to turn off cameras for, and I was like, mm, nope. A nip I slip. Nothing. I don't know. Even that, I think I would just laugh a lot. You just say free the nip. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> you get our channel banned. <laughs> that would be sad. I actually know someone that happened to. But really? That's a story for off camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right. Okay. I feel like there's. They're not getting as good. I'm also not good at grabbing those rices. Yeah, the noodles are the noodles are tricky. I'm kind of just shoving them in. I'm. You did much better on those than I did. All right. Just... Can you give me a paper towel. Yeah. All right, Alex. What? Give us a give us a topic. Topic. Yeah, give me something. Quinn is getting hungry. Give us some rapid-fire questions. Um, Do you watch Selling Sunset? Yeah. Who's your favorite? Um, and what side of the drama are you on? Chriselle, 100%. You're on Team Chriselle. I am. Even though her relationship with Jason was just 100% lies. I actually don't know if it was. Did you watch the reunion yet? No. <laughs> to be fair, I have not. It was very emotional. Really? Jason was crying, like, the whole time. I mean... I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. Um, okay. Let's see. Favorite colors and why? Oh, you start. I Thanks, love, Jonathan. Mine is like periwinkle, like a light periwinkle. Periwinkle very is calming. Your brand color. It is my brand color. It's also very calming. Looks when you wear it, it looks good on everyone. It's just a very happy color, but like also like not too like loud at the same time. Hmm. Like it's still somewhat of a neutral. Yeah. Interesting. 
Also, Very Prairie was the color of the year this year. And the amount of people that tagged me in that post was like, I was like, it's my year, <laughs> right? For 2022 to be my year. Yeah. Who gets to decide that? I don't know, but it's Pantone. Yeah, Pantone does. I don't know which individual person does it. But one year they had two, and it, but it, it like honestly changed. It's, it really does a lot of fashion trends and like weddings follow it a lot. Color of the year. Yeah. You can't have two colors of the year. They did once. It was dusty rose and like like it was like a blue and a pink, and they were actually both very pretty. Hmm. Um, someone asked best new restaurant you've been to recently. I'm not in the why. I thought I said best new restaurant in why. Best new restaurant you've been to recently. I can't. I'm, I feel like I'm probably missing another one, but I really liked. Um, Alpana, it's called. Oh, I haven't been there yet. It's new in Gold Coast. I've only gotten like an appetizer there and a drink. I think yeah, it's Mercury I feel retrograde. Like cooking with Kai might be hitting the end of an era after this one. <laughs> Maybe we'll have Amy on and that will be like a final thought or two at all. My friend Amy is like working to be a professional chef. Oh, fun. Yeah. You should have her on then. She is just starting doing a food Instagram called Fields to Table and she it's so good. I'm like shook. Wait, have you talked about your friend that you're setting up dates with on here yet? No. Oh my gosh. That's a fun conversation topic. Ashley's dating life. I'm a big fan. How did this come to be? Did you propose it to her? Um, yeah. She definitely did not ask me to do it. Um, uh, Ashley doesn't put herself out there. And I was like, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to do it myself. And I did. And it's been great. All right. I'm going to start making the sauce. Finish that one up and then we hit our nine. Hey, you want to see a cool trick? Peanut butter. You keep it upside down. Did you know this already? I do that too. What? Why? I think my friend Sari taught me that because the oil separation. Yeah. Yeah. And then it comes out just Sorry to creamy. disappoint. I'm like, I was so shook. No, and it, yeah, it makes the top so much better. I don't even. Look at, look, it's beautiful. Okay, this one was not great, but have it be known I did not break any. That's what matters. Right, you're going to do. But I did lose a cucumber. I'm going to do two bowls because I will be double dipping. Do this in front of the camera. I'm, <sighs> That's the whole point of this whole thing. Alex, <laughs> everything is really hard right now. All right, this can move. These can go here. These can go here. Okay, boom. There you go. Massage um, and body treatments. Okay. Um, okay, Loom Wellness. Right. I go for IVs, and I go for, like, booster shots. Like, I got to be 12 shot. And they do have acupuncture there as well um, and cryotherapy. <laughs> I also love, and massage, but I also love the now massage. There's op, like locations all over the city. There's one in Lincoln Park, one in South Loop. I think there's a couple of, other, of others. The coolest thing about it is it's like a menu where you can choose what you put into your massage. So you can add like a CBD like cream on top of it. Um, you can like make it deep tissue if you want. And then it kind of works like a menu and you just like walk in. There's like no other like fuss kind of to it, but it is the most beautiful like vacation bohemian feeling and they just have like ocean waves as the back mm -hmm. oh my god it's amazing I, I honestly am i haven't had a massage in a very long time and then iu spa is another very cool it's close I've been it's there. um i'll tell you where it is after but um there's a lot of 
I haven't had anything besides massage there, but it's amazing and very, like, cool also. Kind of feels like you're outside of Chicago vibe. And Air Ancient Baths is the best for, like, I've a nice, bougie... Either. You guys should do it together. It's very romantic. I want to put love in massage. Okay. And then, what else I had? Oh, and then if you want something more, like, for, like, muscle recovery, I go to a place called Delos. Also locations all throughout the city and in the suburbs. And it's, like, they literally use their, like, forearm and their elbow and get underneath the, like, fascial layer. Like, yeah. I like when things hurt so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or like if, if a massage doesn't hurt me, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. I mean, I want to, if I'm yeah. get, actually getting a massage and not this, I do want to feel relaxed, but I also like really want them to get in. This gets like beneath that fascial layer, like where you feel kind of like the buildup of the muscle, muscle, like tension. To, it gives you pliability. So it helps you like kind of like with all, any like sports workouts, things you're doing. So that was a long list, but I'm oh. really I'm really passionate <laughs> about spa yeah. self care wellness spa treatments. Do you like spicy? I do like spicy. Okay. Alex, can you open this? Yeah. Okay, so in the sauce we have peanut butter, some sriracha, some coconut aminos, um, and I'm gonna add this spiced white vinegar, which is basically like white vinegar with like chilies in it. Wait, that's really cool. Is it not so it's, No, it's like a. I love off. Louis' little scamper. He <laughs> loves tippy tappies. His little yeah. tippy tappies. He'll get his little chippy chicky, and all he wants to do is run. Did you guys place. get him in Arizona? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm off Craigslist. Aww. Okay. Now the mixing part, you have to be gentle because it's really hard to like get the peanut butter to fully mix in, but you will get there. I'm very impressed by us though. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alex, do you usually watch her and just drool while she's doing this, oh, yeah. and you're just like Sorry. ready to eat? Yeah, that's the whole thing. You, um, you also got asked, what's your favorite food? Oh, um, anything Asian. I love all Asian foods, like Indian, Thai, Chinese, sushi, you name it. If it's something Indian, it is one of my favorites. I would say the same. I love sushi. I also really love like Mexican food. Like, mm -hmm. I love tacos and guac. Oh, it's spicy. Are you sure you like spicy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. I okay. like spicy. I know, but I made two different sauces. Oh, I guess. You can also add more coconut aminos to sweeten it up if it feels mm -hmm. too spicy. 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 Here, Doug, mm -hmm. um, Something let us in it. and see if that, if that is good. Because keep in mind, like, the... Good? Okay. Because the rolls don't have, like, anything on any of the veggies. Oh, my God. So. I'm going to make these now. I'm <laughs> inspired. So good. They are so good. I should have made you my spicy tuna ones because those are bomb, but I didn't think you could have mayo. <laughs> I was wrong. Wait, is it, like, tuna fish salad or, like, tuna, like, poke tuna? I use canned tuna. Okay. It's good, though. Okay. Alright, I think that's it. I think we can give it a try, yeah. Now we can eat? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who goes first, but... Mukbang. Just grab a, grab a roll. <laughs> it feels very... Well, they all have the same things in them, so it really does not matter. Alex, we're going to share this sauce. Okay. Just because we'll double dip, and then we're not, like, double dipping in a bargain. I think that I made this one, honestly, because... Oh. You lost nah. a cucumber. This looks good. Yeah, you will have little goners that float around in there. It's fine. Goners. Right, here we go. I need to like, I might need a little spoon like you have. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's so fresh. You hear me? Yeah, I'm now. All right, I'm gonna end it at this point. <laughs>
All right, guys. We'll talk about we'll talk about if it's good or not first. It's really oh, good. Yeah, they're yeah. delicious. Well, they're I'm obsessed. Um, they want to they want to know what the result is. Yeah, these spring rolls are always great. I give it a five. They're like one of my Did you favorites. like wing the sauce or did you look it up? No, I just wing it. I don't do recipes. I wing everything. It's incredibly it's impressive. Me, Between him on the tech and you on the food. <laughs> it's I a like, dream team. I am. Um, yeah, recipes stress me out and I have way too much fun just like throwing shit together. Um, what do you give it? On a scale of zero to one, it's a one. All right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one. This was a brutal cooking with Kai. I just said, too. Between the audio and just, I don't know. This is a lot. But <laughs> but I had show. fun. Yeah, good show. Thank you for coming. I had so much fun. I'm glad you came. Um, if you have any questions, as always, comment down below. Please give, please give the video a thumbs up. These thumbs ups really help. And let me know what kind of stuff you guys liked. And also, it just helps support my channel. And if you haven't already, I don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't already, but hit that big red subscribe button because I post a video every three days and I'd love for you to follow along. If I'm not like completely demolished after this cooking with Kai, I think I'll probably do at least one more time, um, but I'll announce it ahead of time better. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done? We're not done. We're not I'll, done. I'll, I'll, I'll be in the comments. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Yes. Where are all right. Are? Wishing I was here. <laughs> We're going to go somewhere now, though, and I'm going to go eat all these spring rolls. So thank you so much for watching. Morgan, thank you so much thank for you. joining. I had so much fun. And I will see you guys.